Hello, my name is Alexander Armenkov. Today is 30th of November, 2022, and I'm continuing my series, Daily Reality with Alex. During my expressions in my daily realities, I'm speaking about different things that are personally important for me and that I'm long-term anyhow exploring. So today I would like to present to you a very interesting topic, at least for me, which I'm long-term and constantly discovering and understanding because it is helping me so much to understand and to better rule my own reality. So today's topic is the topic of space. Space, not from the perspective of the cosmos and the physical matter reality of the um, definition of space, but more about the space in the fundamentals of the uh, reality and the basics of reality. So in reality, we have three important things that are, we are constantly interacting with and observing. The first thing is the content, all the forms, all the objects, all the physical materiality. The second thing is the context, the meaning that we, the human beings, through our consciousness and perception, are giving to the objects and the things in the reality that are part of the content that daily when the moment we are opening our eyes to the moment we are closing our eyes are revealed before us. And the third thing, which is very important, why when we are moving to reality, we need to constantly think about is the construct. Why everything is the way it is, why some part of reality is seen, why some part of reality is unseen, and how we as human beings are moving through reality. So then when we speak about the space, just imagine now I'm in this room, there is an air conditioning, there is a flower, there are chairs, there are tables, and whatever type of object. This is the content of the room. Then what is the space? The space is everything that we don't think about. This is the most common part of the reality, and we actually 100% ignore it, and I'm going to explain you why it is important according to me. So uh, from the physical matter reality perspective, to understand better the space, for example, in the moment, this, uh, this uh, room is making a compartmentalizement compartmentalizement of the space and only this room creates a space, an environment in which me as individual consciousness in the moment am present. And of course, in this room, there are some content. I can give context to this flower and say, well, this flower, I understand it. It immediately gives me the imagination of smell and so on and so on. And when I'm in this room, I also feel and understand the space there and what is important in the moment and that there are no other energies, no other entities, no other beings in the room but me. In the other room, which is next to my, maybe there are 20 people. In the next room, there are 20 people from the other side of the this room, there is a totally different people that I even don't know, and so on. So in one square kilometer around me, it's more than maybe 10,000 people. But in my space of 10 square meters, it is only me. So part of the space in the moment is compartmentalized only for me through this room. And why space is important? Because existence is not possible to happen without space. Just imagine that everything in order to exist, there should be a space in order the things that are created to be able to express. And this is the fundamental part of reality where actually the understanding of the meaning of love, because in the fundamentals, love is the ability to give space and possibility for something else to express. 
So the problem is that we, as a limitless beings, if we are left alone into the space, each of us can feel all the space and we can absorb everything because there are no limitations in, within us. And if we are loosed into the space, each of us, and we are 8 billion beings and there are other beings and so on and so on. So space is actually the way reality is compartmentalized. And why this is important? It is important because it's much better than to understand the invisible part of reality because in the invisible part of reality, actually space exists, but only through our mind perception and then we need to learn long term how to compartmentalize it, how to give space, and so much more many things that we are long term able to discuss and to discover and to understand and to realize. So just imagine what is the difference between the space where things are allowed to exist and the solid form where there is nothing possible to be. So in reality, 99.99% of everything is created and is existence, existing in nothingness, the so-called space. I mean, the more and more we move into reality and we deep dive in any direction of reality, doesn't matter if it's up, if it's down, if it's left or right, it is something that long-term comes and there are no limits in any direction. So in the invisible part of the reality where we are not anymore in the world of forms because in the world of forms, we can much more easily understand the meaning of space but in the invisible part of reality, space is something like a concept that we need to work with in order to understand very basic things about the unseen part of the reality. There are the energy, the vibrations, the flows, the powers, but all of these things in order to exist, they need the space. Without space, Nothing can exist, no power, no energy, no vibration, because they need the space in order to create these flows. Everything in nature is in movement, but movement is existing only because there is space. And this is very important long-term concepts because now you can understand and I can understand where is the big power of the human being in this construct of reality where space exists? So just imagine for a moment that we, the human being, are created in such a way I call ourselves limitless beings, but also we are border zone creatures and we are neither in the invisible, neither 100% in the visible part of reality. Also, we are neither heavenly or spiritual or fire beings, neither only physical matter reality. We are neither above, neither below. So as a borders on creatures, based on the construct of space, we have a possibility, not only through observation, and collapsing of the way, but actually we have the power to work with space. We can allow space to exist. We can shift, we can manage space and we can shape space. Of course, it's very easy to understand it in the physical matter reality because this is what we're constantly doing. We are improving our living spaces. We are creating different spaces where to have special experiences, for example, so we can divide and compartmentalize space based on function, based on experiences, based on feelings. And there are so many ways we work with space in the physical matter reality. 
but in the non-physical matter reality, we need to understand how we, the human beings, are actually interacting and working with space. What is the meaning when I'm giving space for you, when I'm giving space for all of you to express themselves in the physical matter reality or in the non-physical matter reality? All of us, limitless beings, we are working together in constant collaboration, and then we need to learn how to manage the space between all of us, because all the time, my space and your space are collapsing, my individualization and your individualization are collapsing. And of course, in the same time, we are part of the wholeness and the oneness. But it is like with the computer, a local computer that is based and connected to the network. Is it the network that is the computer or the local computer have something additional to it that is different from the network? So because each of us, the 8 billion people are, are compartmentalized and have a different um, configurations. Yes, we can be interacting with each other. We can manage space. We can shift space. We can work with space. But long term, there are different configurations that are made with each of us based on our personal experience. And because of this, we manage and work with space in different ways. But it is very important to understand that the existence is not there only for me or only for you. The existence is actually working through the power of space and it is done through the interaction. And that's why when daily to go into the practicality now of the space, we need to long term understand and absorb this idea and to know that everything is because of space even my presence even who i am is possible to be only because space is allowed for me to express to exist and to be present that's why when we understand and go deep dive into the reality we can understand that there is nothing else from the creation that we can trust more than the construct of reality. It is created in such a way that actually each individualized consciousness is 100% supported from the construct and there is always special, unique space that is out there for each of us to express. It is a very important topic for me and we can deep dive into it. I'm constantly exploring it, but when you are around other beings, for example, always think about the principle of space. Usually, if we are now together, five people in one room, the first instinct of the limitless being is to dominate, to take the presence, to absorb everything and to be about. The power of the human being is when, on paradoxically, it realizes that giving up space, allowing things to exist around it and allowing for all the other human beings to be actually through respect, we are giving space for others to express themselves. And then the being that first go into allowing and giving space for others is actually the dominant being that is able to shape the space for all the people that are in this surrounding. And it is, of course, the opposite of the domination but if you have the consciousness, if you have the perception, if you have the understanding that actually to hold space, to give space is giving so much possibility for the powers to start flowing, for the interactions to start being and 
for all type of forms of expressions to be allowed. Of course, then everything long term then depends on our maturity and how much we understand the power of allowance, the power of resistance. And since everything is working in such a way that the construct fundamental of reality, which is the space to be 100% protected, that's why in reality it's working this law of balance and the law of walking and walking long term, everything in space is working in such a way that it is going into some type of balance and then we the beings are experiencing more and more fundamentally that the construct of reality looks like solid because it's blocked it's balanced and it's locked but we the human beings have this big power to unlock to unblock to shift, to this balance, so that long-term through the space, we can shape shift how the powers can flow from one expression to another. It is very important because now we are not dealing only with the content, we are not dealing only with the context, but we start working into management of the construct. And for me, this is a long term, very important topic. And then you can understand how your personal expression is able and is allowed only because of the existence of space. And long term, you and I are going to learn how to be rulers actually of our own reality is actually to lean and trust and understand and align all our doingness based on the fundamentals of the construct of reality. Then we are going to know how to deal with resistance, to understand why the resistance is there and to long-term know how to shift and to create space and to manage it in order the flows to go into a such a way that to unblock something and to block something else. And this is why in the Bible, there is a verse where it's written that whatever you bind in heaven is going to be bound on earth or opposite actually, whatever you bound on earth is going to be bound in heaven. And if you imagine that earth is the physical materiality and heaven is the non-physical material reality, then everything that we are able and learning to lock, to loose, to bind, or to free here in the physical material reality, but thinking about what is happening in the non-physical material reality, they are going to coexist together, and we are able to go and to transmute the form, what is beyond the form, and going forward and backwards, but then we are working together with reality. It is not us who can do something. We can only allow ourselves to work with the construct of reality and managing and working with space. So for me, this is long-term important topic that I'm exploring because actually, everything works opposite to what we think we think that we need to use our intention about everything that we want we think that we need to dominate we need to bend reality we need to shift and to do very strong intentional forceful things against and then because of the power of balance because actually we are trying to dominate the space, we are not allowed. The only way we are allowed is when we are actually working intentionally towards creating space for others, then it is allowed more and more for us to be present into the space. And of course, we are present into the space with more presence, with more beingness, 
also with more heaviness and more doingness. So this is very small part of all this realization, but we need to think what is the difference between solid thing that is locked, that is put into a balance, and why there is the space that is creating these flows, energies, and vibrations, and movement, and motion. Because long-term life and existence is filled through the motion. If everything was in solid state and in stillness and in 100% peace, then existence is going to disappear. Existence appears only when space is existing. So thank you for watching today and long-term enjoy your reality enjoy the deepness of reality and anyhow ruling our own reality is part of our experience here in this realm and there is so much to learn so much to experience so much to enjoy and to have fun with the interaction between us the human beings the individualized consciousness the limitless being and the construct of reality. So thank you for watching and bye-bye.